you don't pass it on, it's going to die with y'all. Yeah. And we cannot let that happen. Because I am who I am because of y'all. Mm -hmm. Because of the sternness. Because of you wouldn't let me do things wrong. You wouldn't let me stink. You wouldn't let me come across your house and do things wrong. You wouldn't let me wouldn't do it. You would come outside and say, no, you go home. <laughs> I don't care about you. Well, they doing it too. I don't care about them. You go home. And I appreciate you. I didn't like it at first. I didn't like it at first. I, I, I didn't like some of y'all at first. Because you was hard. But I love you now. Yeah. And because of the same reason why I did it. Like I think we're getting too friendly with our kids. We're getting too friendly with each other. We want to be their friends instead of the people that you was 25 years ago. That stern individual that knew that that was wrong. It might be a small detail, but no, that's wrong. It's like when I teach basketball, I do not let a kid do anything, whether it's big or small. No, go back and do it again. Because if I let you get away with that, then the next time it's going to be twice. Two times later, it's going to be three times. And eventually, I'm just saying, you just go ahead. I'm not tired of doing dealing with you. And that's where we get where I keep. And I see it all the time. I got 120 kids in our program, TCF. And I started because I seen this. I seen the lack of fathers in the community. In the black community, where they say bad kids are. They're not bad kids, they lost kids. And the kids are searching for love and answers that the void that they have. We all been there. We all have boys, right? We all try to fill them with different things. I try to fill mine with marijuana and women. I try to fill them with marijuana, and, and for 25 years I did that, and it never got filled. The day I got filled is the day I filled myself with the whole, or the day God filled me with the whole. Amen. And that's the day that boy, that, that's the day that boy started filling up. That's the day I started understanding who I was. And that's what I want to talk to you today about. There's three, three or four things that I learned when I was playing basketball that I, I'm learning now after I played, after I retired, and after I looked back and reflected on my life. And one was fear. Fear. I think it, I think it handicaps a lot of us. And we, and we don't even know it. Fear. Something simple but so strong. Fear stops us from doing a lot of things that we should be doing. Because the devil come up and tell you you can't do it. Right. Or somebody else come up and tell you you That's can't right. do it. When God told you you could. And we listening to the wrong voice. So that fear, we need to put that fear aside. Because the day I, the day I graduated at the University of Tennessee, the next day, I jumped on a plane and went to Iceland. I had no idea Iceland existed. I had no idea. I was a country boy from Carver. I didn't, I didn't leave Carver until I went to college. You know, I, I was small-minded, yeah. but I was a big-headed kid. Yeah. I thought I knew everything. <laughs> so the day he, he gave me the contract to go to Iceland, I signed it, I researched it, I knew it was going to be cold. Mm -hmm. So I packed a lot of cold stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if anybody was going to be on the, at the other airport when I got there to pick me up. Mm -hmm. I didn't talk to anybody. All I had was a, a email. No, it wasn't even email at the time because we didn't have email. Mm -hmm. But I had a, a, a ticket. From Johnson City, Tri Cities, Tennessee, to Kepler Big Ice. I had no, y'all don't understand, I had no ice. It's like I walk, walk up to you right now and say, here's a ticket to Belgium. You leave tomorrow. Wow. No idea. Nobody was going with me. I was going by myself. I'm a 22 year old kid that just graduated the night before college. You're talking about scared to death. I was scared to death. I said, well, what, what got me on that plane was, I said, well, the worst thing, that I, I, I saw the plane, with the ticket was paid for a round trip. So I said, the worst thing, if I get over there, I got a flight back. Uh -huh. <laughs> <That's right. clears throat> so I'm going to just go. Yeah. And I went. And 15 years later, we sitting here. But I was scared and dead. It was almost to the point where I, I let it cripple me to the point where I almost didn't get on the plane. Uh -huh. And if I'd have never got on that plane, where would I be today? Uh -huh. Because of that fear. And we all got that point in our life we, we should be on the break of doing something that we really wanted to do in our life. Or we know we should be doing. Or God called us to do. And we at that point to where you want to do it, you know you should do it, but you're scared to death. So all this stuff is coming in your head. You should do it. You ain't good enough. Who said you was good enough? Why you? But you have to trust in the man that made you. 
Amen. 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 made your plan, your, your life, your story. He already knows the end for so if he told you to go, let's go.